全新 Point Dollar 登場，無論係食買玩，通通都可以用 The Point。You better listen to me clearly, brat. I'm here to stay, whether you like me or not. And if you keep behaving this way, you won't be welcome in our house anymore. It's my dad's house and mine. Don't mess with me again, Ariana. If you know what's good for you. Just then, Dad walked in, and she was all smiles. She was more evil than I thought. She would definitely try to push me out of Dad's life. And just a few days later, Dad told me that he and Amanda had some big news. You're gonna be a big sister soon, Ariana. A big sister to what? Your dad and I are having a baby. Isn't that great? Did they expect me to be happy? All I felt was anger and heartbreak, but I managed a small smile. Congratulations! And soon after, when the baby was born, Dad looked at her the same way he looked at me and called her his little princess. That's what he used to call me. He was too busy being a new dad to shoot more episodes for our channel. I decided I needed to stay away from him and his family. Amanda had won. Maybe Mom noticed that I was really downcast because one day after dinner, she said the two of us should go out for ice cream. I could see she was trying to connect, and I agreed. She wore her gloves as usual anytime she went out, but it didn't bother me anymore. I'd learned to accept her the way she was. So tell me, what's bugging you? I feel like Dad doesn't love me anymore. Oh, honey, that's not true. You'll always be his little princess. No, he has another princess now. Mom stayed quiet at that and just hugged me tight. And then she gave me some news. A girl from Thailand will be attending your school on an exchange program, and she'll be living with us for some time. Are you okay with that? Mom worked in a company that dealt with exchange students, but it was the first time we'd had one as a guest. As long as I don't have to share my room, I guess it would be cool. A week later, we fetched Macy from the airport. She was a short, cute girl my age, and she was so excited when she saw us. Hi, I'm Macy. It's so nice to meet you. You're both so pretty. She hugged me and Mom, and the whole ride home, she just wouldn't stop talking. The flight was so long. I'm so excited about school tomorrow. Have you ever been to Thailand? No, but I. Oh, it's such a beautiful place. You should visit. Maybe when I go back for the holidays, you can come with me. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, it would, I guess. Gosh, I had to live with this chatterbox for the next 12 months, and the next morning she woke me up at 4 a.m. so that we could go jogging. Couldn't even say no because she was our guest, and I was trying to be nice. When I showed Macy around school on her first day, she spoke to just about everyone. I was quite popular at school because of the YouTube show. And it felt a bit embarrassing that she said anything that came into her head. I could see people laughing at her. Later that day, when school ended, I couldn't find her anywhere. That's when she texted me to come rescue her because some kids had locked her up in the janitor's closet. Listen, Macy, things are different here. People here don't just start talking to strangers, and we don't talk that fast. We let others speak and listen to them. Okay, so I shouldn't speak? No, you can speak, just not so much. Oh, I see. But those girls were really mean to me, and I hadn't said anything mean to them. I know people can just be jerks sometimes. Just then, I spotted Dad's car, and he was waving at me. He said he'd been wanting to catch up with me, and I was really surprised and happy. That is, till I saw the new baby was with him. Ugh. Amanda apparently had an appointment with the doctor, and Dad was taking care of my baby sister Kara. I introduced him to Macy, and then he took us to the aquarium. Dad picked up Kara from her seat and held her in front of me. Ariana, can you hold her for a moment? What? I don't know how to hold a baby. Don't worry, I can do it. She's so cute. Thank God for Macy. She looked like she was really good with babies. And then Dad put Kara in her stroller. Macy was excitedly taking pictures of everything. And Dad and I just walked quietly through the aquarium. Things had changed between us, and we didn't have much to say to each other anymore. Just then, his phone rang. It was Amanda. Our trip was over, and he dropped us home. You don't like your baby sister very much, do you? I never said that. Come on, you didn't even look at her. I'm not blind. I can tell when someone. And suddenly, I just lost my temper. Can't you ever be quiet? I thought we spoke about this earlier. Please, just leave me alone. I just stormed off to my room, and I didn't even go down for supper that night. And the next day, I sneaked off to school without Macy. 
I wasn't really angry with her, just my situation with Dad. When she arrived at school, she left a note on my desk and then quickly sat down. The note read, Sorry for talking too much. I looked back at her and she smiled. She was an odd person with a big heart, and I couldn't help smiling back. As we sat down during recess, the same girls who'd locked her the day before walked up to us. Hey, Ariana, you still have your walking, talking parrot with you? Aren't your ears bleeding by now with her nonstop chatter? No, I really like listening to her, but your voice is giving me a headache, so please go away and get a life. But just then, the girl dunked her juice on Macy's head, and I pounced on her. As we rolled around fighting, Macy came running and sprayed ketchup all over the girl's face. Don't hurt Ariana, you witch! We all ended up in detention, but it was totally worth it. Hey, thanks for standing up for me and saving my butt again. I should have never told you to act differently. Just be yourself, okay? Oh, what a mistake that was. It was hard to stop her. Especially when we watched MSA videos together on YouTube, she had a running commentary going the whole time. Soon after, it was my 16th birthday, but mom wasn't keen on having a party at home because of the mess. So Macy and I just went out to celebrate. As we were shopping at the mall, we bumped into Amanda and Kara. Macy immediately went all gaga over the baby, but I just stood on the side silently. Happy birthday, Ariana. Oh, you must be Ariana's stepmom. It's so nice to finally meet you. I hated the word stepmom. I didn't want her to be anything to me. Come on, Macy, let's go. Wait a second. It's funny that I bumped into you. I just bought you a gift. No, thanks. I don't want anything from you. Why are you always like this, Ariana? I've really tried. Can you drop the fake nice act, please? The only thing you've tried to do is steal my dad, and you succeeded. Have you forgotten that you threatened me? Ariana, I was angry with you then. I didn't really mean anything. Before she could finish, I just started walking quickly. I heard Macy calling my name, but I wanted to get away from Amanda. Suddenly, I heard a scream, and I turned to see Macy slip on something and fall to the ground. I rushed over to her, and she was unconscious. Amanda quickly called an ambulance and went to the hospital with me. I was so anxious as I sat there waiting that I just couldn't stop tapping my foot. Amanda sat next to me and took my hand silently, and I felt better. The doctor came soon and said Macy had a minor concussion and that she was okay. When I went to her room, she was sitting up in bed. As I sat next to her, Macy took off the locket she was wearing. I want to tell you something, Ariana. I had a baby sister too, and she was three years younger than me. She was my best friend, and then she died two years ago. My eyes welled up as I looked at her sister's picture. I carry her around with me everywhere. Love the people around you while you can, so you never have any regrets. I hugged her tight, and we both cried. The doctor said she could go home, and I found Amanda was still waiting outside for us. She drove us back home. When we got there, the house was pitch dark. I guess the lights are out. Just as I opened the door, the lights came on and many people yelled, surprise! It was my birthday party, and dad was there along with my friends from school. Mom, I thought you didn't want to get the house dirty. Don't worry, I'll sanitize the place once the party's over. I hugged mom and dad. And then I turned to Amanda. Thank you for being there for me today. And I'm sorry for how I've treated you. I really am. Can I give you your present now? You already did. I picked up my baby sister and hugged her tight. 